Additive manufacturing, or 3D printing, is quickly becoming a key player in the manufacturing landscape. As always, mechanical testing is needed to ensure the safety of these products before they go to market. In order to qualify the end use of a component or characterize the properties of a material, a universal testing machine is used to subject a specimen to tensile, compressive, flexural, or shear forces. In this video, we will discuss some of the most important considerations for testing additively manufactured parts. Our example will be a bone screw plate that was created in CAD and then uploaded into the printer's software. The specimens were printed using carbon-filled nylon filament and reinforced with carbon fiber. We printed in both the X and Y directions to show the difference in results when print orientation is changed. These specimens will be tested in tension until failure at a rate of 50 millimeters per minute. We are also using an advanced video extensometer with digital image correlation to show the strain map and identify areas of stress concentration while the force is being applied. To prepare the specimens for this, we create a speckle pattern on them so that the AVE can track the strain map. It is clear from this graph that print direction impacts the mechanical properties of the end product. Specimens 1 through 3 were printed in the Y direction, and specimens 4 through 6 were printed in the X direction. The specimens printed in the Y direction were able to withstand more force, but started failing at a slightly smaller displacement. By examining the brake pattern, a design engineer may choose to increase the fill percentage to strengthen the part. Alternatively, if the results show properties that exceed the need for this application, the design engineer may decrease the fill percentage to save on cost and time. These specimens exhibit consistent breaks between the Y-direction specimens and the X-direction specimens. For quality control testing, many standards require five specimens be run per lot or batch. Many research and development laboratories opt to test 10 to 100 times more to ensure their design produces repeatable results. Additively manufactured specimens can show more variability in results than parts manufactured with more traditional methods, especially during the design process. This is why it's imperative to have a large sample size to ensure the results are a good representation of the entire lot or batch. Instron offers a wide selection of testing systems, grips, and fixtures to test your additively manufactured products. Instron. The difference is measurable.